with Paint Man. Oh, Daredevil's so maybe Paint Man. So out of all the Fagos in the Lombardi party, uh, Paint Man is the most aggressive one. So that might play to his disadvantage here. Okay. Yeah, especially so, in Stupid Puff. Yeah. Well, the floaty characters, you know, they kind of love beating out uh, your their opponent's aggression. You can see Paint Man already, you know, doing some he's, good stuff. He's going, yeah. yeah. He's zoning a puff pretty well, staying within good ranges. Oof. Well. That's not where you you have to be cognizant of where you are, even more so, I think, against puff, because stuff like that can happen so easily. I thought had a good read on his movement off the platform, too. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, jeez. That could have been arrested a shield. Oh, jeez. Hapai's doing a good job of staying in that awkward range above and in front of Falco where he can't challenge easily. Mm -hmm. He doesn't move forward fast enough. Oh. Ooh, okay. This is also one of the hard parts for Falco is getting that killing hit on Puff. Yeah, I think uh, like laser uh, into like Nair. Nair's really good. Down tilt. Um, like jab Nair is really good. Jab bear. You know. yeah. But it's tough to set that up sometimes. Uh -oh. I like the Howard cover. He gets his, gets his jump back. <laughs> oh, okay. Or you just forward smash after, immediately after recovery. That's the Florida special. Yeah. But I take cleans with that stock too. So Pain Man, he's a. Uh, it definitely feels different, you know. It's interesting because High Fight, you know, he doesn't have to approach with his lead, but he's using the fact that Pain Man is more antsy due to the fact that he's behind to pressure more aggressively. Mm -hmm. It's nice stuff from High Fight. Oh, I like the spacing. He just it's like a desperation there. There. Payman's finally, you know, found his defensive footing a little bit. But every time he goes to that platform, you know, Hi-Fi is ready to zone him. Yeah. Right, like right there. He's got him stuck, like pinned here in the corner. Okay, he rolls out. Oh, I like it. Mm. Oh. High Five's read that roll in from the after the ledge dash a few times. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. It might pay off big if Pain Man doesn't change it. Yeah, and it really only has to pay off big like once a game, really. Yeah, and, and then, then I they, can they're scared. Mm -hmm. Jumps to the ledge. High Five with a three stock lead here. With a two stock lead. One and a half. <laughs> a slight lead. Let's see what Pain Man can do. Oh, <laughs> oh just <laughs> jumps in that forward smash. That was, I guarantee, that has to be accidental. <laughs> oh, wow, he died from the near. Okay. Oh, no. But oh, I thought that was going to be it. Yeah, you can see, once again, Hi-Fi is ready for that platform movement still. So, mm -hmm. Payman's got to change that. Yep. Okay, well, he's just he's going back to that platform. Okay, he gets in. That was really good stuff for my uh, paint man. Oh, there we go. Up there. Okay. Getting something started here. Oh, okay. These probably are falling fares. Or yes. dash off fares. Yeah, like fall through fares. Or maybe he's Anything before smash. <laughs> he might be reading super hard. Like we never know, you know? Oh, okay. High Five's done such a good job of holding center stage and pressuring into the corner. Mm -hmm. It's really tough for Payman to move out at all. Okay. okay. Setting up his laser wall, but... Yeah. So. When two of them don't come out, it doesn't. Uh, it's not an effective wall. <laughs> it's like a chain link fence. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was a good I good idea from Payman, but mm. I covered it nicely. <laughs> yeah. Because he did land it on the stage and get the jump back. But. Okay, let's see. If Payman uh, regain, uh, re regains his composure a little bit, uh, changes his platform movement a little. Yeah, I think he'll. I think it'll be fine. One of the, the things you see from players who play a lot, you know, mm -hmm. uh, they often have kind of movement patterns or set things they like to do. Right. So Payman kicked one of the platform. You can see towards the end of the match, he was like, oh, wait, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he like caught the loop. He's like, oh, wait, I, I can break this. Yeah, I, can, I can move somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> he tried. Yeah. But at that point, High Five had punished him enough yeah. times. Ooh. Ooh. That was a pretty unsafe labor laser. <laughs> High Five is in his head now. Okay. Gotten, yeah, that's one of those things too. Against against Fal Falco, your rest, the punish game isn't as strong. You really have to work for it too, like that down air up till into yeah. something. You don't get like a kill confirm off it either usually, mm -hmm. unless close that high percent. Right. Well, Payment, you know, he's still his, his neutral. He's been doing a decent job corralling puff with lasers. 
Yep. And having to deal with you know, his big hitboxes. Oh. Oh. All right, that was good stuff. Acceptable trade at that percent. He's, he's leaving up the rest percent soon, too. So not the worst thing I would trade there. All right. Hey, man, just trying to hold center stage here. Trying to get some kind of a bear in there. Oh, whoa. oh, into the down air. I thought a bear was coming for sure. I I thought anything other than down air was coming out. It's Falco. Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. It's yeah. Oh, okay. okay, there we go. But sometimes you're not in control. Falco does down airs. <laughs> it's like if you're if you're not high enough level to uh, tame a Pokemon, <laughs> sometimes it just down airs. Oh. Javi's doing a pretty good job, but he's changing his fall and drift timings to get around uh, Payman's early up tilts. Mm -hmm. So, oh, that, <laughs> oh, that was the movement. That was sick. Oh, okay. I like. Payman's changing his up tilt timings too now, so we'll see. Well, that was a really sick dash attack. Catches him coming in. Oh, he's <laughs> out of there. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to get uh, into the corner. Oh. So I think High Five has been reading that uh, Payman's been getting a lot of leverage out of like just turn around up tilt near the edge. Yeah. Uh, he just skips forward smash this time. Great read from High Five. Ooh. Ah, uh, okay. Charge up smash should do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure uh, you can go for a, a funny DI mix up. If you hit the very close to box of up smash, it's above and behind. Mm -hmm. So at lower percents, you can actually get some, some funny some kills nice on top. Yeah. Especially if they're like DI and like it. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. Oh, let's go. Okay, using these lasers, pinning him down a little bit. That da that dare was ill-advised coming in. Oh, oh no! I feel like Hi-Fi's getting a little antsy. He really wants to approach as Puff, which is interesting. Oh, oh. not quite. We're dead even here on game number two. Hitman's made some really nice adjustments. So. <laughs> oh, power shields that down tilt. But I like I like the attempt to go for down tilt. It's such a great move. And it kills really early too. Mm -hmm. For this matchup. <laughs> right. And it's so fast that they oftentimes they might not be able to die in time. So, oh, Hi-Fi's mm -hmm. working this position really well. Yeah. He knows that Paint Man wanted to come down with down air, so he just stands under the platform. Oh. Weird yeah, with the middle there. <laughs> Goofy stuff happens sometimes. <laughs> OK. Oh, no, the what? platform. <laughs> All right. The platform both hurt him and then helped him immediately. Yeah. It was like a Sour Patch Kid. You know? <laughs> sour, that is sweet. <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh. Okay, just he just walks after the up, the up throw. Both the players, they were they were confident that their things would work, mm -hmm. and then they didn't, so they freezed up, froze up, <laughs> freeze. That's okay. We can freeze up. <laughs> oh, I like it. He's been doing a lot of those double jumps in up air. Oh, okay. How is not gonna let it go that easy? Yep. Uh oh, misses the tech. Oh, that could have been real bad. Oh. I thought I was ready for the tech roll in, but mm -hmm. he was too ready. <laughs> he psyched himself out. Yep. Oh, oh no! no. F smash change there. Yeah. Okay, three up. Oh. oh, okay, all right. What? A <laughs> too many forward smashes. These guys want the F smash so bad. Payment takes a deep breath. Yeah. He wants this game. Oh! Nice. So that's one of the, the things about people who angle the show for show dropping, which is you know pretty much 95% of the Smash media now. Mm -hmm. Um, especially with characters with smaller shields or weaker shields. Right. When you angle your shield, you leave part of it open. So you saw Hi-Fi, hi uh, he shielded right, he was set up for a shield drop, but he left his left side open, so Payment got a shield. That's like the perfect three. height for that back air, too. Yeah. You say that 95%, I am one of the 5% who doesn't even try to shield drop. <laughs> so I'm like next, next level. <laughs> I will never get shield poke in that situation. That's, that's, that's too smart. <laughs> yeah, I'm too smart. I'm not ready for that. In, in fact, it's too good. <laughs> That's why I drown in pools. <laughs> but at least you don't get shield Well, once the metagame catches up to me, then maybe maybe I'll do better. So our game number three on Fountain of Dreams. <laughs> Head of the meta. So you can see uh, this stage forces more close quarters combat, which mm -hmm. Hi-Fi, you know, he wants to pressure Falco in those spots. Yeah. But Falco can also get bigger combos here, I feel like. Yeah, especially from, like, he's been using these up tilts a lot, um, and it works really well with these platforms as they go down slightly. But see, that's a weird position for Puff to be for Falco, because he has to commit to a full jump to laser at it, or just kind of stay on the ground. Right. So Hi-Fi has a lot of power there. You usually want to wait out the float a little bit or something. Mm -hmm. oh. 
Okay. Playman's definitely feeling it more now. He's playing a little better. Yeah. So I really like the, the backer that didn't hit. He lands on the platform, then drops back and lands on the platform again. Safe. Just, be, just being tricky. Yeah. Being tricksy hobbits. Nice. He's really been good at that that laser into the shine grab. Oh, Ooh, nice slide off. off. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. What? Oh, no, dash tech. I think he wanted to try okay, dash tech. <laughs> he definitely wanted that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did not want, like, the, the least... <laughs> like the his weakest attack. He could have gone for that close range uh, charge death smash I was talking about. Mm. All right, I gotta I gotta tell Playman after the set or after the commentary block about some of the cheese you can do with down throw on puff. <laughs> I'm not sure if Hi-Fi's ready for it. Yeah, down throw. I like I like down throw against Puff. You yeah. just laser afterward to kind of follow. Puff can, uh, if she doesn't DI the down throw correctly, the lasers on it, mm -hmm. you can set, it, it can combo into up smash or F smash. And you can you can just read it with, with Falco. Mm -hmm. Just do it. I usually just down throw up smash. If it doesn't work, try down throw up smash. Mm -hmm. And if that doesn't work, then I assume they know how to DI out of it. And yeah. Then I'm done. It's over. <laughs> oh, that was, that was an error. That was something. Something other than nothing. <laughs> uh, so Hi Fi has kind of caught on to the fact that Payman side being a lot, mm -hmm. specifically on FOD for some reason. Oh, that backer was. Almost out. You tried to lay it, I guess, a little too long. I like it. I'm a little worried about Hi-Fi. He keeps going uh, really high against Falco. I guess to cut off the top platform movement, but Falco mm. can catch yours there, there really easy like that. Because mm. once you go to high with an aerial with Puff, you're kind of committing to staying up there for a little bit. Right. And Falco, Falco has that like high burst speed of his, his full hop. Yeah. Uh oh. oh. Uh. That's going to be it. Off the side, so he'll get some punish here. Okay, well, some damage. High Five's been kind of ready for Payman's rolls, and Payman's been fighting his urge to roll, mm -hmm. but he's sometimes you can't, you can't fight it. It happens. Can't fight that feeling anymore. Oh, I oh, thought that was gonna yeah. be it. And he gets the jab. Off the side, High Five takes it in a pretty, a pretty close set. Yeah, pretty close. Payman made some good adjustments, but High Five made the adjustments back in game three. They mm -hmm. needed. 